Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz and on this channel I talk about all things beautiful and today I have a special guest with me. You guys have been seeing all the people I gave birth to or at least half of them. This is my daughter Sabrina. Say hi to the people. Hi, I'm her favorite daughter Sabrina. I don't have favorites, but okay. So <laughs> today's video is, is going to be a declutter, but we are decluttering more than just perfume today. So if you guys are interested in hearing what we have to say, then keep on watching. Okay. <laughs> By the way, guys, happy new year to everyone. Yeah. Happy new year, prosperos años. I hope so far your new year is going great. Today's video, in honor of the new year, I am going to be decluttering some perfume, but we are also going to be talking about the challenges of social media and things we want to declutter in terms of being on social media, mindsets, and all of that good stuff. So Sabrina here, she has a TikTok of 31K. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then on her Instagram, she has 13.5K. And her channel on YouTube is small. It's a little small. It's a little small in comparison. Okay, but it's, it's growing. It's going to get up there. And then you and Shanice, my other daughter, you saw still in my uh, perfume. She, They have a channel together along with a couple, a couple of other people where they talk about celebrity gossip. I We're would... actually changing it for the new year. Really? What are y'all changing it to? It's just not the vibe. We're going to sometimes still talk about celebrities, but it's just going to be more conversational. It's a podcast channel. Okay, mom has always left, so I didn't know they were changing it, but I know now. Yeah. Okay, so I wanted to do this video because I struggle with being a content creator an influencer um, and I I've talked about this before I know other people have these thoughts as well and for anyone who's thinking about starting a channel TikTok, Instagram I thought that this would be helpful for you guys and of course we have to talk about perfume because that's what we do that's what we love here okay so let's start with the decluttering and then we'll talk we'll bring up the first uh, thing we want to declutter in terms of social media. What was that affirmation, Mom? I forgot my affirmation. <laughs> so today's beauty affirmation is to just stay true to yourself. Be unapologetic. I made that up. I <laughs> am unapologetically me. Amen. And I am going to be unapologetic. <laughs> unapologetically me. I'm not going to be a butthole, but I tend to apologize a lot for no reason. I'll say I'm sorry for things that I shouldn't even be sorry about. Like, oh, you hit your foot. I'm so sorry. I didn't make you hit your foot. You know what I mean? So I'm going to be working on that. Okay. Now. I don't recall you saying sorry to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <sighs> She's not actually. Um, and don't let the British accent fool you. My kids, they go in and out of accents. I don't know why they were born and raised in America, but you know. Is it all the Harry Potter? Okay, they're huge Harry Potter fans. So, okay. First fragrance we are decluttering. Moschino Gold Fresh. I, I just couldn't get with this fragrance. It gave me a headache. It looks like it's gonna give you a headache. It 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 just I don't like that cleaner look. This looks so tacky. <laughs> I know the bottle. Why didn't why did I ha not have this as the worst bottle when I was talking about did the fragrance tag? And I bet they was all in the board meeting like, yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> that's <laughs> all they did. Let's do it clean. Because they have another one that looks like Windex. Besides the fact that I don't like the bottle, I don't like the juice either. One of my friends have recommended it to me and I thank her so much for it. But it's just something that I don't like. The rose smell, it smells kind of strong and vintage. And it just, it's not my vibe. So I am decluttering that fragrance. 
Yes, I agree with the vintageness. It smells like if you smell it up close, and it, it smells just like a Baptist church lady. <laughs> but when you whiff it, it smells better, but it's still the Baptist church lady. It's still like better not charge me more than ten dollars. Okay, you heard it from my daughter. She doesn't like it. I couldn't get with it. It's on the chopping block now. In terms of decluttering when it comes to social media, Sabrina, as a content creator, what are some of the challenges that you feel like you have? What's a mindset or something that you want to declutter in 2023? Um, I guess I just would like to declutter the thought of being afraid to be myself because people are so sensitive these days. But I feel like you, it's beauty in building your tribe. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes, actually, absolutely. So I totally agree with you. Um, I'm actually coming up on my two year anniversary of my YouTube channel. And when I first started and even leading up to now, I just felt like I couldn't be myself. I felt like <laughs> I needed to come off as an expert knowing all things fragrances knowing all about the notes and things like that and oh you fooled me <laughs> i didn't know you didn't know none of that stuff i was i always watch i'm always one of the first of her children to watch your videos thank you um and you always talk about notes and stuff and i'm like oh i don't know i know some things but there are a lot of things that i don't know and i was afraid to say i don't know and this year, my one of my new themes is I'm not an expert. I just like to smell good. And so I feel like I need to be more authentic coming from what I know. And as I'm growing in my fragrance journey, I'm learning more. But I felt like people wanted to see people that knew all the notes exactly when they transitioned from the top to the middle to the base. And I just don't know those things. I've always just thought that fragrances smell good. And it was recently, like maybe a couple of years ago when I started learning more about those things. So I want to be myself. And I was afraid that people wouldn't like my content just being myself. Mm. Like, so if I, you, I definitely feel you on that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that insecurity of uh, just like wondering, like, I don't know. I, I over explain myself in videos. Yeah, me too. Me too. And I find myself like, this is not even you. Just be who you are. And if people love it, they love it. And if they don't, they don't. Yeah. Yeah. So. I concur. Yeah. Great. Okay. <laughs> Next fragrance we are decluttering. I know some people will be like, oh my gosh, but you, you guys, I liked this at first, but then I really didn't. It like the more I wore it, the more it, dang it. <laughs> it was just okay for me. This top is just not staying on here, but this is Deluxe by Tiziana Terenzi. It smells good, but something about it gets on my nerves. And this top, see, when I first smell it, it smells good, but there's a note in here, something synthetic or it's it's maybe it's too powdery there's something about this fragrance that just does not it doesn't vibe with me and for that reason i don't want to keep it because i'm not going to wear it it reminds me of bath and body works roses vanilla but do you oh it does kind of smell i'm like this smells familiar but i know i never smelled this before in my life it smells like Bath and Body Works roses and vanilla. But Let me find out they just put that in like an expensive bottle. <laughs> <laughs> There's a powdery. It's very powdery. Yeah, it's just. It, I like it though. It's cool. But I can see how this would be annoying after some time. It actually doesn't smell bad. You have very similar taste to Elizabeth Taylor. Oh, the Liz's. We know. We oh. know. I didn't even put that together. Yeah, and this top, you guys, it, don't hold this from it. It will fall. See, yeah, it's, it's just not. 
that but that's not why i don't want it it just okay, doesn't work too. for me it's a very long lasting fragrance it performs very well but it's just not something that i want to keep in my collection because this year only the best of the best according to me is staying okay that's what we're doing and making room for a new thing so speaking of making room for new things what do you want to make room for for your channel well or your tiktok your social media platform well i want more organization mm -hmm. i do feel that it's a it's necessary to be authentic but it's also necessary having a plan i already made a mood board for my instagram pictures and if i stick to it i don't have to like what people don't understand is a lot of thought gone gone into things that seem so small and your pages your content is supposed to tell a story people like i don't want to say a niche but they like knowing what they're going to you for right so it helps if you're organized right i agree i also want to be more organized on my channel i have uh i purchased good notes to help me take notes uh, when I have ideas and thoughts and uh, try to get my stuff organized and together. I have a lot of ideas in my brain, but if I don't put them down right away, I will forget them. The other thing is I put my ideas down on paper and then I'll see somebody else has posted what I thought about. And so then I'm like, well, what am I gonna post about now? Because if I post this, people are gonna think I'm not being original with my content. I'm gonna stop that too. I'm so glad that you brought that up. Okay. I'm gonna stop that because at the end of the day, there is not nothing new under the sun. There may be, I don't Look know. Look at her quote scripture. There you go. <laughs> yeah. That is so yeah. true. Thank you. Um, but it's like, you are gonna do it in your own way. And I would even be like that with friends of mine who was into content creation, where it's mm -hmm. like I had an idea, but they executed it first. And I'm like, oh, I don't want them to think I'm copying them. I don't care what you think. Okay, there you go. Okay, okay, I like it. I, I read a lot of comments, which I, I should stop doing, but I see people saying like, I don't know why people are taking credit for what you started or whatever and certain content creators um comments and i'm thinking to myself you can't possibly believe that this person originated with this first the thing is if you're into beauty like we are because she's just as much into beauty as i am and so are my other kids a lot of these thoughts come into our brains because we all have something in common where we're thinking about beauty and fragrances and makeup and how we want to present to people mm -hmm. and it's just a matter of getting your content out there so a lot of this stuff is like a lot of us think the same because we have something in common if that makes sense no i agree with that completely and i don't understand why people can't grasp that concept like oh you might have a very similar idea to someone else in your field talking about the same things you are yeah true okay Let's get to the next one. We are decluttering. And this is Jessica Simpson's Fancy. Ooh. I mean, this I like so it. It smells good. It smells good. It, it actually really smells good. Do I really want to get, see, this is what happens when you want to declutter something and then you smell it and you're like, do I really want to? Because I actually like how this it smells. It looks like it's going to smell like one of Britney Spears' perfume. It smells, I smell a lot of caramel sweetness. Oh, it doesn't freshness in it oh well it kind of does it smells good but i don't hardly wear it and so well i'll take this we're, we're not doing that today i thought you were decluttering it i am but Who's we're not doing it? we're not doing that today Who's taking it i might you know aubrey it. would really like him aubrey is for that you didn't want her to she's have talking it. about her daughter she's for aubrey is she loves fragrances yeah, okay yeah she does i actually have a video of her smelling my stuff like ooh, ooh, she's so cute but um i like that bottle i actually really think it's cute it's a bit high school ish oh look at you i'm so mature i'm almost 30 it's a bit high school ish yeah like it's it's nice it smells like a fun summer night 
So thinking for a fun autumn night, more like yeah, probably. But thinking about this fragrance, smelling it, and not wanting to let go of it because I'm smelling it now, is making me think of something I want to declutter. And it's the mindset of holding on to things that I have no use for. Hmm. So I was really gonna say something really mean, but I'm not gonna do that since you're sitting here. But I tend to hold on to things that I have no use for, things that are not gonna benefit me. And why keep something just because it smells good? If I'm not reaching for it, then I need to get rid of it. And I want to declutter that mindset this mm -hmm. year, just letting go, rip the Band-Aid off. If it's not for me, it's not for me. I like it, it smells good, but I'm not gonna wear it. So. Why hold on to it and take up space? What do you think? Yeah, you're. Are you talking about an influencing? I got confused. As to <laughs> I know. I was way to. left with that. I'm talking about being an influencer, and I'm talking about just life in general. Um, just holding on to things that I shouldn't be holding on to. Um, and I think for me, as term in terms of creating videos. Sometimes I would hold on to stuff because I know that it's popular in the community and people may be like, why are you decluttering that? Like when I did a, mm. a declutter video and I got rid of Kenzo Elixir, mm -hmm. a lot of people were like, oh my gosh. I mean, but if it doesn't buy for me, it doesn't buy for me. And the same with Deluxe because I hear a lot of people talk about how wonderful this is. So for me to just hold on to it because everybody else has it is not a reason to keep it. So mm -hmm. in terms of being an influencer, I don't want to hold on to things because they are popular. I only want them because I want them. So I, I completely agree. And that's how I feel about my channel as well. I saw myself starting to go in a direction or try to go in a direction of aesthetically pleasing or like or on instagram with the instagram model aesthetic and i'm not talking to, down to any of those aesthetics i think there's nothing wrong but staying authentic to myself i just like to try different things i don't like to portray myself i don't want to say that's too cool but i don't know the other term for it because you might get something interesting or different so I want to continue that space where I'm just growing into my individual <laughs> individuality. <laughs> I, I started to say individualization. I don't know. <laughs> Look, we're not perfect on this channel. We we get it, we mess up. So it is what it is. But yes, I get I get what you're saying. Okay. Next two we are decluttering. And this one surprised me, but I'm gonna put two up here for the sake of time. We are getting rid of Glow by JLo. This has been in your perfume closet for like five minutes. Yes. That, and I am this, I never thought that I would get rid of it. Years. Years, say it again. Years, decades, <laughs> a decade. Don't get it twisted, one. She's, she's very, very useful. <laughs> Thank you. I sprayed it on me the other day and I just did not like it. And I was so shocked, but it gave, it got on my nerves. It, it really, really did. What I used to love about it, it just no longer worked for me. And I was like, I cannot even see myself wearing it. And I was just gonna keep it just because like she said, I've had it for years and I just felt like it was one of the first perfumes I really fell in love with and I should just keep it, but it doesn't smell good to me anymore. So. Why would I keep it? What do you think? It just smells like, you know, um, if you ever work in close contact stuff like waitressing and you're like, oh, I want to go pick up a perfume for my shift real quick. This looks like something you just grab real quick at Walgreens or something. It's not very memorable signature. Just like, I wouldn't find a reason to reach for it, to be honest. Yeah, Let's see. So, I mean, this goes on to holding on to things that I shouldn't even be holding on to. It's just, I had it because it had sentimental value to me, but I'm never going to wear this. I remember seeing that bottle 
sneaking into your room for makeup or something. Yeah, see, see how it goes. See how it goes. <laughs> so this next one, Dead Sexy by Tokyo Milk. Ooh, uh, that sounds sexy. <laughs> I like this sometimes, but I don't. It, the woody notes in there are so it's so overpowering, and it didn't start off that way. I've had that bottle since 2018 or 19, and so maybe the bottle went bad. You can spray a little bit if you want, no, but no, uh, no. see, it just it has a very much bug spray element to it. <laughs> I was trying it used to give it, it a chance. So good. First whiffed, I was like, mmm. But then like it was like an after smell of like off or something. I just think that the juice has changed maybe because of how long I've had it. And oh, that's the old bottle? It's yeah, cool. I brought this when we I had this. Remember I used to get those Ipsy boxes with the mm. makeup? It came in there. So I got this in like maybe 2018. And I used to smell more vanilla in here, and now I smell just more woody notes. It's it's very very woody, and I need it to have some sweetness. The vanilla seems to have left the building on this one. Yes, that's a good way. Yeah, because when I first smelled that, I was like, I smelled the wood, but it wasn't disturbing as the bug spray after smell. But I did, I was like, oh, that's interesting. It smelled like a campfire at first. Yeah, but not a good campfire. Yeah. It, it just, I didn't want to let this go because this is hard to find, but it just doesn't smell the way that it used to smell when I first got it. So we are saying goodbye to that one. Bye-bye. So is there anything you want to say bye, about? Bye, bye. I'm sorry. <laughs> In sync. Okay, is there anything you any advice you have for someone who's starting their channel or thinking about starting a channel or yes oh my gosh I have so much or advice TikTok. Okay. okay so when it comes to TikTok, that is one of my favorite now when it comes to making money so if y'all want to do this for making money TikTok can help you with exposure can help you with practice and just help you figure out yourself it's I, it's so chill I can upload anything and it could go viral. Um, not anything, but like any different subject. You get a clean slate, whereas YouTube and stuff, people return to you for your perfume and stuff. Right. TikTok introduce you to a new audience each time. But one thing I could say is just keep going and don't be afraid to fail in front of people or, or struggle in front of people. Um, I've got over that hump this year and there are so many people who would try to tear you down because you are not, you're either at the top or you shouldn't be trying. That's how some people minds work, but there are stairs in between that you just gotta keep climbing, you know? I like to hear you say that because I feel with my channel, I feel like I've seen people start at around the same time I have and they just take off. Mm -hmm. And there have thousands and thousands and thousands of you uh, subscribers and I'm here not even at 500 yet. And I've been on YouTube for uh, almost two years now. January 20th was when I uploaded my first video. So I'm like, what is happening? Why am I not taking off? But and like that, you said, there are some stairs some people have to climb. Yeah. And some people don't know that in YouTube, which I literally just found out within the past month, that there are people who are coming from actual organizations that have some sort of a backing and the knowledge of algorithms and help writing scripts or they have a really great job so that they could take off front end pay an editor right away and keep pushing out the content um by things that help you in the algorithm such as the highest tier of vid iq i don't want to get too deep into that but i try not to look at that you just try to think of like, you know, some people are starting from a floor. Everybody's trying to get to the 20th floor. Some people starting at 19. Some people starting at 15. Some people starting at one. It's not fair. It's the way it is. Does that mean you don't want to go to the 24th because somebody on the 19th is going to get there before you? Right, right. Well, I do want to say before we end this video, um, what keeps me recording is seeing the community that I've connected with coming back every time I record my videos. I get super excited when I see 
the same people, even though I haven't met you in real life, the same people come back every time I post. Um, I had one viewer said she was going to hold off on buying something until I posted my review. Aww. That really touched my heart so much. Or seeing um, Latanya say, hey, Liz, let's see what you got. I, I just really appreciate that. Just seeing the same people come in to support me over and over and over again and having new people come that keeps me going it's like i'm here for the people who are here that want to hear my opinions hear what i have to say i truly appreciate it and no i'm not an expert i'm just someone who loves to smell good i love makeup i love hair you guys this is her hair i why isn't my hair this long i mean i gave birth to her what's happening here but Anyway, <laughs> I love all of those things. So I'm just a person that likes to share. And I hope you guys continue to watch my content. We have a part two coming up that is going to be on her channel. And once we get that posted, I will put it up on my community tab. I hope you guys come to see that. And until we meet again, you guys have a happy, blessed, safe new year remember how beautiful you are and that jesus loves you and remember happiness can be found in, even in the darkest of places if one only remembers to turn on the light i love it it's harry potter oh my god okay <laughs> see you guys next time bye